I've preached this little concept, and it might be difficult to understand at first, but I stand by it and I believe in it. You can create a good graphic. A good graphic could be anything. A good graphic could be really complicated and have all this detail. It's just really beautiful to look at. You could make a poster out of it and hang it on your wall and kind of just stand there for a while looking at all the ins and outs of this poster because it's complicated and it works for that. So in that way, you could say it's a good graphic. Um, I could create a really good logo, um, and it totally fits the need of the company, and it's a great logo. But what we're creating with graphic tees is a good garment. Do you know what I'm saying? So overall, with the graphic on the shirt, that's a good garment. So if we're talking about the Rolling Stones Lips t-shirt, that's a good garment. If we're talking about black flag, punk rock thing, that's a good garment. The whole garment works. So you see the person who wears the black flag shirt, it fits their entire personality. The black and white vibe of it all is all part of the garment. So think a lot more about that t-shirt than just the 100% cotton whatever fit works. There's a design with a cut and there's a fabric and a weight to that fabric. So what I'm trying to do is create a great garment. If a great garment means all I have to do is write the band name really simple, then that's all I'm going to do because it's a good garment. There's a lot of really great athletic shirts that all they are is just whatever. Um, and that makes a great shirt, and that becomes somebody's favorite T-shirt. So you think about people's favorite T-shirt and how complicated are those? How much detail is inside people's favorite T-shirt? Most of the time, your favorite T-shirt is pretty simple. So don't feel like you need to overcomplicate what you make just to please a client or feel like you know, show them you've done enough work. I don't care if it took me you know, five minutes. I want to make you a great t-shirt. I want to create a classic t-shirt that's going to hang around for a long time. So I've made a lot of graphic tees. Raising against the machine, well, there might be, you know, there's something powerful about that. They just want to say their name strong. They're not ashamed of what they believe in. Rage Against the Machine, so it's bold, it's loud, it's in your face, and there's a vibe to it. Paul McCartney, we want to think of the nostalgia of Paul McCartney and who he is. So we want to keep coming back to, we always want to put a nostalgia and a vintage around Paul McCartney because he's the sacred national tre or global treasure for us. Um, so we always want to tell that story about Paul McCartney. And even if he has a concert in 2014, or in you know, 1969, whatever it is, uh, we want to have a nostalgia around Paul McCartney's performances. Now Paramore wants to have fun, and Paramore wants to be punk rock. Panic at the Disco wants to be a little ornery and a little bit Vegas. Neon Trees, they want to be colorful. Lindsey Sterling, well, she's a pretty talented artist, and she's a really great writer. She wants to tell that story. Iggy Azalea has a few unmentionables. David Bowie, of course, um, you know, we want to surround David Bowie with nostalgia as well. Old World Counterfeit, it gets the vibe across. That becomes more about the wearer. Marmosets, Vancouver, it's a uh, souvenir shop type thing. Ed Sheeran is another example of something that could become a, uh, you know, a classic tee that you want to you know, use forever. Eric Church, that, that dude can put on the Eric Church shirt and become the biker Sons of Anarchy guy. You know, and all, and he, he can do it all with one t-shirt. Blink-182, let's keep it upbeat, let's keep it pop, pop punk. Uh, maybe the All-American Rejects want to mature up a little bit. Alice in Chains, it's a little bit more creepy. It's going to make you feel something. Hopefully the creepy per the person wearing the creepy t-shirt's a little bit creepy themselves. Christina Perry, let's do it hand drawn, let's be a little fashion forward. Farewell Williams, clap along. Paramore, punk rock. So you get the idea. There's something all of these bands are trying to say. There's a feeling that they're trying to convey. And man, graphic t-shirts has just been this really great medium that I love to just nestle myself in and make all kinds of all kinds of different things. So you guys can see, there's so many different ways you can make a t-shirt, and so many different ways I've made a graphic tee. Um, but the final project, the, you know, the final product is actually when you're seeing this being worn. So 
all of these ideas come from different places. Sometimes it's heavily dictated by a logo. Um, sometimes it's heavily dictated by um, you know, a vibe that they're trying to get out. Uh, but I, I like the parameters. I do like having a logo. I do like having, you know, obviously I have a band name that I always can work with. So I always have some element that I can design around. So, I, so most of the time, I think the band name is enough. You know, so whatever the band name is, I can design around that, and everything else is just secondary to the band name. So this 30 Seconds to Mars, it's not about the tiger to me. It's about just saying 30 Seconds to Mars. The, ti the tiger ended up being sort of a filler into uh, the way that I wanted to use the graphics. So in band tees, it's fun because um, I'm, already giving the I'm already given the focal point. The focal point is the name, so I design around that.